people were asking in the Discord earlier about like the foghorn thing, and <laughs> when, <laughs> when we're like, do you, would you consider yourself the guy? Uh, Adam was that <laughs> <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> would you say um, that it was you? Uh, <laughs> it wasn't you. I feel I was, like the first I one, was, like the it, first sort of foghorny oh, kind oh, of yeah, tune. No, it was tight, yeah. Wolfpack. Hey. Assemble. Assemble. What's going on? It's TC and this is DB Talk with Benny L. Firstly, if you're new to the Wolfpack, a very warm welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. And if you find any of the information in this video useful, please smash the like button. If you're not already part of the community, part of the Wolfpack, hit that subscribe button to receive notifications every time I upload some fresh new information. Also, don't forget to check out my samples and presets for Serum, Vital, Massive, FMA. Check out my t-shirts and hats. Follow my Anthem's playlist on Spotify. Follow my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Links in the description. In this this episode of DMB Talk, I got one of the most down to earth, talented producers of the moment with a new sound that is busted up bass spins all over the world with massive tunes like Low Blow and Naughty Bastards killing the scene. My good friend Benny L. What are you saying, bro? <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. I do a lot of editing on these things, so it's cool. Like if yeah, I mess up anything or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you good? Yeah, yeah I'm all right, man. I'm all right, just cracking on and trying to keep busy and that isn't it? <laughs> what's been going on like, you, you, man's in the studio took you a while yeah, took yeah. you a long time to make a yeah. cup of tea <laughs> oh, no, I, I had to have a I, I had to have a boost like, didn't I so yeah I thought I thought it'd be better to do it do it then before right before, like, asking oh, hey, Phil, I need I need to go in the closet you know what I mean so, yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying though um, everything good yeah I'm alright yeah yeah, just um, yeah, just, yeah, trying to be in here. Sometimes it's like up and down, isn't it? Like you're not like you're not like inspired sometimes, and then and then like the next week you'll you'll like make like two tunes or something, you know. So yeah, it's like, yeah I'm sort of... I'm gassed right now from the studio point of view. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I've been making tunes on this Akai S five thousand, yeah, and it's yeah. just literally like you put any sound into the thing and just start messing around with the stuff that's on there and it's like yo this is a vibe like straight away i'm so yeah and it like i'm using i've got this like floppy disk drive here which cost okay, me like yeah, yeah. five quid and i got oh, one, wow. one and a half megabytes size on a floppy drive so you can imagine oh, yeah. like collect, you up, yeah. collect up all your little beats you put them all yeah. in a folder and then just put them on the drive and then into the Akai and then you've got to spend like two hours making like key groups. But once you get a vibe going on a beat or something, it just sounds so crispy. Yeah. I think, did yeah. I send you that beat that, I, that I've been making? The, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, sounds, the first, sounds really good. It's like all right. It, it's, it's got like that sort of real old vibe, isn't yeah. it? Real old. Yeah. And I'm not sure if it's the right direction to go in, but fuck well, it. <laughs> if, you, if you enjoy doing it, then and yeah, Joe, crack on, man. It's like, do you know what I mean? I think I think I was looking into it the other day because um, I think if you zoom in like into a wave on, I think I think this is right. But if if I was if you zoom into a wave, then obviously you see the dots like go like say it's a sign. Yeah, and then obviously there's like the dots that go go yeah. around. So that's like each measurement of the. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So apparently, like, apparently, uh, the digital it's like a straight, it's what? a straight sort of link. Okay. But with uh, with analog, yeah, it's a it's a rounded sort of thing. So I think that's where that sort of like the rounding sort of sound comes from, maybe. Yeah, I mean, so I've been, I've been, <laughs> no, no, no. I've been doing a lot of experimentation with it, and uh, I think you're right. I think like it does have a much like warmer sound. It's so difficult to yeah. like pin down, but I think then it's from that. Yeah. yeah, so like, obviously the converters that make the sounds coming out of the Akai are going to be different to the converters within like your sound card. But the other thing is with like MIDI, so like the way that I'm triggering the different sounds on the thing, yeah. it's a serial interface. So like the commands go through serially. So yeah. samples, if you had three samples exactly on the same time on the bar, actually they're slightly off 
like very, oh, very yeah. micro milliseconds off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's different every single hit. So yeah. it that's it it kind of has this sort of like breathing life of its own. And I did this yeah. experiment where I stemmed the tune in, right? And played it from just the door with the stems and it had such a like it was much tighter and cleaner but the mm. one which was just the whole thing together coming back in was like 10 times more vibe it was really weird yeah. it wasn't as sort of it was like yeah. it just didn't have that same kind of yeah, midi um, flow to it uh, it's just sort of yeah, it sort of a, gives it own little groove sort of thing like it's not it's not all uh just completely like structured and yeah, and not, I got this like, like, really like straight. You know what I mean? Bit of, bit of, bit of wave in the bat. It gives it a little vibe, doesn't it? A bit, yeah. of, a bit of groove. And I got this sort yeah. of like visions in my mind of like other producers getting on this hype and like starting a thing where yeah, there's like, people making tunes on hardware and like going I, in. I, yeah, <laughs> whether they got the patience, whether they got the patience. You know what I mean? Because well. Bizarre. There's no drag and drop there. <laughs> There's no drag and drop. No, but no splice. <laughs> no splice. Well, you could. You could splice it. I mean, I've been taking <laughs> hits from like synths, like Vital, and yeah. like super modern sounds, and then just sampling them out, putting them in the sampler. Yeah. And that's why the tunes are sounding like, they sound like weirdly modern, but mm. they've still got that like weird Akai grit and I just bought this next yeah. sampler as well called a Roland VP9000 yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's got like real time pitch and time oh, stretch yeah. on the yeah. front thing bruv I'm yeah. so gassed and I've been buying like little um LED screens so I'm going to change out the screens on this JV1080 and on the ESI4000 and I'm going right. to put like, because uh, I did it on my virus where you can put like actual proper LED screens. I'm going in, bruv, going in deep. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if I should be doing this, but. <laughs> I, got, what, what, what? I got one in. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, look, what the, that's a virus, uh, the virus C. Ah. I actually, bought, I, actually, I actually bought it on voltage. Right. Like, 2000 and I don't know, it might, might have been 2017. Do you use it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the whole the whole intro to Banter Black was like me just like recording um, like five minutes and I'll yeah, just sort of the cut off and then and then um, and then yeah, I just place it together and it, yeah. And it is, it, is that, that a rack? <laughs> is that the virus C rack? Um, yeah, yeah, it's the yeah, rack, um, yeah. Is it the red one? It's um, no, no, it's it. No, it's like, well, it's like that one. <laughs> <laughs> <You> see it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it, bro, but I'll, I'll Google it. The virus C, I think I know the one. I, I got an Indigo, like the keyboard here. And uh, I can show you, actually. This one. Oh, nice. And it's, it weighs about a million tons. It's fucking yeah. ridiculous, actually, yeah. how, how kind of like um, yeah. heavy it is. <laughs> Like a space station with your buttons there. Man. Oh, <laughs> this is the best thing ever. So I got on my Ableton, I can actually yeah. like, I can trigger plugins and load up plugins with the buttons. So if I need an yeah, EQ, yeah, yeah. I'm just like two button presses away. And I built yeah, this desk, yeah, yeah. like I covered it in leather as well. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like actual sort of upholstered and like... I don't know, oh. I just, I go in on it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know it's yeah, a bit yeah. weird, but I like to have my yeah. own feel like everything is sort of a bit personalized i went through this sort of stage of like scratching my name into bits all my equipment so if anyone came and teethed it off me then i'd be like ah. it's, it's got my name scratched on the screen you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah but um yeah. i normally start these things <laughs> off with like um asking you what's like the first drum and bass tune that you heard okay um I think I think it I think I think it definitely was um it was I think it was nasty way I think it was I think it was it's either not nasty ways or or his Bam Batter remix right yeah. so a Dillinger it was, uh, yeah 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 it was um yeah I remember it because um I must have been like I was still young so what? on the train what? my brother and, what? and he what? was it was what? his listening what? What? <laughs> yeah he was he was, 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 was listening to Sight in his like mini disc yeah mini discs. <laughs> 
Yeah, so I, I was like, we're just in there, bro. And then uh, it was like, he probably won't like it. It's, it's a bit heavy for you. <laughs> Is that what he said? Like, oh, yeah, and then I was, yeah, I was like, yeah, go on. I was going mental in the seat. <laughs> Wicked. And then, yeah, since then, so then I went on it on the computer because like we only just had like one computer like big computer do you know what i mean with that was like the family <laughs> so i just went into his his um his his, his um space on it and went through all the stuff and then uh, yeah then i yeah just heard like you know like nasty ways and you know super sharp shooter and all okay all yeah there was like loads of like sets on there in it so i just put right. on, the, on whatever i had see like i might have just burnt a cd and have it in my what well, if he's using the mini disc back then? No, I, I did have a mini disc player, though. Um, right. Yeah, not that, not that back. But uh, yeah, I just like, yeah, going to school every time with that in my <laughs> I was in a similar vibe, but probably a bit further back. And it was like probably listening. To, I used to listen to a lot of old hip hop. And yeah. I was talking to SS on the last show. And actually, Lighter was the first tune that I ever heard that was a drum and bass tune. And it was a similar thing, just like, but this was tape. So someone had like a tape Walkman and I was just, yeah. I heard that tune. And then such vibes, man, like wicked vibes. And that, I'm actually trying to go back to like trying to make classics like that now yeah. on the yeah. hardware. My kind of dream is that I'm going to keep like chipping away all the time at making tunes and get better and better at doing it on hardware and then yeah. eventually something's gonna just go like click and i'll have made like something proper sick you know because i yeah. think you can't just sort of like go back into making tunes on the old equipment and think uh, you oh. have, yeah you gotta have like a hybrid you know what i mean like hybrid sort of setup yeah i'm like, i'm um, trying to do it like full yeah. in this way and i'm probably will yeah. end up going back to a hybrid but i'm yeah. i'm a very much an all or nothing at all kind of guy so i'm just yeah, like definitely man definitely I, i'm sure there's there, there must be something out there that can like you know like load up you can obviously foot disc is like a you know you can't can't get much but maybe like something that will speed up the sort of loading there must be something out there so well to i got you. i got this in the back of the sampler today i made yeah. a breakthrough i got this usb port card that okay. goes in the back of the yeah. sampler so now i can yeah. load off this old i found an old laptop in the garage and yeah. i've got like this old pc laptop windows xp and i can yeah, drag yeah, yeah. things onto it much quicker now instead of having to use the floppy disk drive so like yeah. that's going to speed things up a little bit i'm just yeah, so definitely. like i'm not sure if i like that or not though i quite like the length of that's time good. because it yeah. gives you like thinking time between loading you know what i mean and I feel like that's almost yeah. a part of the music in a way is like the longness of waiting for things to happen means mm. that you are just a bit more like eager to get that. Oh, definitely, yeah, definitely. That. I, I've, I've, I've found this like quite in the past year or so. Um, so obviously like I've sort of like invested in quite a lot of gear and, you know, like, and also like finding like, you know, like the plug, even with plugins. When I was sort of, well, listen back to like old, tunes I was sort of making I, I feel like I was maybe a little bit more creative because you had a I was making you know what I mean on the first sort of Mac laptop I had you know I'll get to four channel or five channel um channels of like MIDI and like because I because um to make the sort of you know the bass sounds you know I do a lot of filtering modulation inside on the chain so obviously using quite a lot of plugins so you know it would it would slow down so I'd do the old freeze thing in Ableton and then and then um go on to the next thing. So there's, do you know what I mean? So I couldn't have like, I had to do it in a certain strategic way, but now I can just like, you know, I've got a, you know, a really good Mac and I can just have it all anywhere. But <laughs> I feel like I maybe was a little bit, I came up with stuff I might have not come up, I came up with stuff then that I might not have come up with now maybe, but yeah. you know, finding that progression, isn't it? So. I, I agree. Like when you've got so many options, I think this has come up yeah. a lot of times talking to a lot of producers. The more choice you have, the more you're kind of a bit crippled by that choice. Yeah. And it's better to, I guess that's why I'm so gassed about like only yeah. having a sampler and thinking I'm going to just limit myself to this. I did think yeah. I'm going to try and make tunes just using one floppy disk as well. So literally oh, yeah. whole tune like with 1.5 megabytes yeah. of 
data and just see if it's possible to actually do something that you could load up on the CDJ and go, yeah, yeah. that's a vibe and I want to play it. It's a hard yeah. thing to do because you can't really yeah. get like atmospherics. You could have yeah. like little vocal maybe, shots. Uh, go on. Maybe that's like the new sort of dub, like little USB thing and it just send the floppy bits. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and they have to load you, it on there. Yeah, go, right, go find it yourself. With, with a MIDI like, file. Like, it's too easy now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh I, I feel like we've got a friend in common as well uh rossi yeah. disciple i remember yeah. he was saying i like probably three or four years ago he's like wait benny's making moves you know you need to uh you need to watch what he's doing yeah. <laughs> how did you um meet rossi so it was um when i decided to like go for music i went to um it's sort of small little um, music like academy complex place in in Bristol. Okay, and, uh, did you live in Bristol yeah. then? Um, well, I wouldn't say I lived there. I was I was I, I was two years. I was there for two years. Right, in, um, is that before. DBS? You might, you might have been there. It's NGM. Uh, okay, uh, you might have even been there. It's mm. um, with Dan. So yeah, so they um they um obviously used to shoot out there, and while I was there, I sort of you know I met them and and would like. You know, there, there was there was always in the studio, so I'd like, say hi and and um, so I, so that sort of first couple of years, as I was like, yeah, especially the first year, but like, do you know what I mean, they saw well sort of progression, like literally just um, from like starting making tunes to to um, things, and yeah, like, but yeah, like we would talk for hours, like about like plugins and all the techniques and stuff. Do you know what I mean? So, so I I missed that a bit. Do you know what I mean? So well, that's why I'm doing this stuff because I just want to talk to people about stuff yeah, about geeky stuff. Yeah. But yeah, Rossi is is uh, he runs? If people who don't know, he runs Disciple, which is like a dubstep label, and he's based out in Los Angeles. But but yeah, he was a, a mutual friend of ours from back in the day. I'm really interested to know like when was the point when you were like you you made a tune and mm. you were like yo like this is actually yeah. kind of because i know we all go through that stage and you, uh, you could be really gassed on your tunes for a while yeah, yeah but yeah. there is always the point where you're like I, feel, I think for me it was like deep where i was like yo this is probably it's not a copy of dillinger because i was quite a sort of like you know, I was signed to Valve, but I was also sort of trying to emulate his sound, very big influence from Dillinger. But then when I sort of went over and I made Deep with the full vocal thing and it had like a Bristol bass line on it, so it wasn't really like that kind of Dillinger pang bass, I was like, yo, I think I've sort of come across my sort of vibe, my style. What was like, did did that tune come out or did, was it one of them ones where you were like, you knew you'd reached the stage? Was it What tune was it that? You were oh, like, um, yeah, so, like... so, um, so yeah, I was always like, you know, like patient, and I, I knew that, you know, you, you can't just like make something and just stick it out there, like, especially in the first year, because once it's there, it's there, isn't it? it was just listen back later on and, <laughs> and cringe a bit. But um, I got a few of yeah. those, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's okay. It, it was, um, so yeah, basically, it was like towards, towards the end of the year, the first year, so I, I was, um, just yeah, I was just uh, literally like yeah, just making a silent neighbor, and then yeah, I just like made this like sort of bass. It was speakers vibrate, and um, so it ended up being a collab with us, and it went on audio form. So that was like the introduction to with Shim. So um, so yeah, I was like, I was just like yeah, I just went down to see him um in the day or something, and then um, literally just did yeah, hit play like because I was just like starting. It's literally like the barest thing, but like the sort of the groove in the drums and then like where the sort of the bass sound comes in, they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, you should like, finish that. So um, and then and then from there, then then yeah, Shim loved it and it became it became speakers vibrate and yeah, because I had the vocal from Copper anyway, so it was it was yeah, really fit. What I like is that you. And Shim and Audio Porn are like, you're like the maverick soldiers out here. Like it's a, it, another independent camp coming through and like really reaping destruction on drum and bass. And yeah. like, I, I, I want more of this kind of stuff coming through in the music. Yeah, you know, not, you know, just independent artists coming through. You know, it's so much more rewarding for, from an artist's point of view to hear stuff. It's like, it's like, Left to center, sort of curveball people just come in and yeah. be like, 
blam. <laughs> Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? I really like yeah. that. Um, I yeah. don't know. I, I got people asking were asking in the Discord earlier, like um, about like the foghorn thing, and we're, <laughs> we were like, Do, would you consider yourself the guy? Uh, Adam was that <laughs> <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Would you um, say that it was you? Uh, <laughs> it wasn't you. I feel I like the first I one, like the first sort of foghorny oh, kind oh, of yeah, tune. No, tight, yeah, yeah, tight. But it was just like sick bass sounds, isn't it? Like, uh, it was, like, like big just, bass, like, isn't it? Big bass sounds. Yeah. Like, don't name anything. Just like, I'm sure no, you no. did like, make that and then be like, Oh yeah, it's like, fuck all, but no. There's one King of the Rollers tune that I always think is another one of them ones. I can't it's remember like, the name of it now, but it's like the first like, sort burn, of... Burn Ends, yeah. Burn Ends. Burn, burn ends, yeah. Such a sick tune. Like... Yeah, I remember they played that on so the good. Um, in the park one time, and I was, you know, I was just like, fucking hell, like, when it come in, <laughs> I was like, fuck me. They got yeah. this sort of vibe to them that I think you've got a bit as well, which is that I can, you know, you were talking about a hybrid sound. Yeah. I know that you got hardware in that studio, like secret weapons. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know your bass is going through some mad, like distortion, EQ, some something to add that sort of like next level sort of vibe. Because for me, like Ableton on its own can sound a little bit sort of thin. And like plasticky, yeah. and do you, yeah. is that something that you find yourself doing? Yeah. Or would you be like, uh, I'm going to make the bass line good as it is, and then run it through the gear afterwards, or would you sort of take them sounds and put them through outboard gear and then back in and then make the bass line? Or was it, is that like something you do? Yeah. So the, so the way that I, I, I do it really is because um, actually I, I don't know. I think I got the um, Ivory EQ first. Like, oh, it might have been 2017. Like, That's a TL audio like, thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, even, like, Logo was all plugins, you know what I mean? I, I've only been going into the hardware the last maybe three, four years. Where is it now? 21. So, yeah, maybe four years now. But, I mean, I got the Culture Vault show in 2018, you know. So, there were some tunes before that. I was, it's like um, doing, like, a little little bit like the chain would be like literally like really like eight nine plugins wow deep you know what i mean but now obviously with with this like you know i'm using a lot less plugins now to sort of try and emulate that but yeah i mean like sort of um i think yeah the first yeah vanta was with the eq but it wasn't with the culture but yeah what, what i usually do with with ableton it's like all, all the synth is um obviously like massive or i don't really use serum much right. really it's sort of, I use the effects thing. I like that. I like the sort of tony fizzy thing you can get out with the bit on that. But um, so it's usually like the synth plugin, and then and then Ableton, and you you got the um external, um, oh yeah, external audio effect. Yeah. Right? So you can like, you go set it like sends it in and out within that plugin. So yeah. you, it's like you can drag it along in the chain like wherever, and then it's like I basic basically using like a plugin, but it comes out and then in and then um. Then yeah, when when I'm happy with it, then then bounce it. But do you ever like, find yeah. that you have problems with Ableton and like plugin delay compensation between the different things? Um, I've I've only been sort of not really not really you know like yeah. um like I it did I did think about this like last week I was like because because what's up what I've been doing since I've got the kite I I literally like bounce it out um with the kite running so it's going through there as well. And I, and you then, say um, kite? Yeah, like the, it's the thermonic culture. Ah, uh, uh, okay. It's the, same, it's the same make as the culture vulture, but yeah, yeah. Quite, with drums and brakes, it's proper, proper, proper good. Yeah. And, um, but I'll be getting like driver air with things, but like it was still K on, it's still balanced, but I'm thinking this shouldn't be happening, like, mm. and sometimes like with disc overload. But the thing is with the kite, there's, there's like no, there's no, there's no latency at all. So, um, but yeah, but I like I tried it the other night, um, just bouncing the the, the drums. Um, so I just make it all, and then and then maybe at the end just bounce the drum as a stem, and then drop it back in. Do you find and that you it, you can hear like a big difference between the drums just down the Ableton 
and then threw a piece of equipment back into the computer. Is there yeah. like, for your ears, because some people might yeah. be like, I can't tell a difference, but I know that if something goes out into the world and then comes back in yeah. again, it's a, it's it's like, it's yeah. vibes. Oh, yeah. yeah, it definitely is. Because like before, like I was like, I'd have a chain with like eight plugins trying to get the level up in the drums and have it all like, like gluing together and like loud, but you just literally stick your son and it's like it's banging like bang. it <laughs> yeah. <That's> sick. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so I've, I've um, basically from now on, I've, I've just got a, and also if you turn off the delay compensation thing, it's um, cause, cause another time I'd like bounce it and then, and then I'll drop it back in. But then it will start going out, and I'm like, oh, I just I can't be like dealing with like trying to, try, do you know nah. what I mean? Just lose like messing about with it. But if you turn the delay compensation off, then it, it's literally like it's literally not that problem. So that's something that I learned the other day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Still trying to get it, man, really. <laughs> and what what but, sound card are you using for the in and out? Is there like any uh, you're using I've anything? Got the, the Focus White Parrot Eight. Okay. And then I've got the Octo Pre as well, so that's like... Right, another eight with eight yeah. yeah. Yeah, sick. Have I've you seen them plenty. ones? There's, there's one that I saw this, that had 32 in and 32 out. Like, oh, yeah. um, I was like kind of thinking, oh, I wanted that. In the end, I ended up getting like another RME. I bought an RME Fireface oh, yeah. 800. I, I really yeah. like the sound of the RMEs. I feel like they're just like really rock solid and there's like options to expand it with ADAT and that kind of stuff. Do you, is that what you yeah. use the ADAT card? Yeah. Yeah. Does that work? Yeah, is got... that good? Does it work well? Like I've never yeah. used ADAT before. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is, it is good. Yeah. Um, I was having some sort of um, trouble sort of, cause you can go in and out. I to get like one of them D sub card things. Uh, with the yeah. With all uh, the cables. Yeah. But it, but it wasn't going, um, it wasn't really going back up, but I was using Mojave then. But now I've got Catalina. It's like it's all, it's all working now. So okay, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went, for, I went for a big old bloody uh, thing. I was like, like just then I went up to Big Sur. I was like, oh shit! Oh, you did that? Like, things were moving about and everything. Yeah, like because because one of my projects that I like literally was um I think I was doing like the other like, the other week, and I was you know. And then the next day I come back in and opened up and then uh and then you know when it like starts loading it, it just crashes like like it's, all, uh, it's almost like the, the, almost like the whole the whole file was corrupted or something. Right. So I was like, but yeah, well maybe that's like something I need to do to get like stop it because it's not it's not the first time that's happened, it's happened a few times. And... Yeah, I've had it with Ableton where Ableton's crashed and I've lost a project. And now what I try and do is every session, every time I sit down in the studio next, or even every save, save it, yeah. I save, yeah. but I save next version on oh, the, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I do like, yeah, I do like point another one. Yeah. Do, yeah do, like, do you do yeah, backups so, as well? Like back up all uh, your stuff in duplicate as well? Like if you've got multiple hard drives with the same stuff on? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But basically, but basically, I yeah, so I, you know, I've, yeah, so I've only made up. Shout out Diff, uh, he, he helps out a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a bit of a wizard at it. So did he like, uh, uh, like backtrack you from yeah, Big, so Sur. Big Sur? Yeah, Big went back to. I had to basically wipe it. It was like, uh, big, big thing. But, I, but I use um external SSDs. Right. Yeah. Uh, um, For your projects. So, yeah. Yeah, same. Yeah, so I don't trust my well. computer either. I'm exactly yeah. the same as you. I have external SSD. Well, not I, they're not like they're just regular spinning drives that I use. I don't use like them ones. But oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I just don't oh, trust yeah. computers, man. Yeah. So it's so, so I, at least I didn't lose like the files and samples and that because I was outside the computer. So, um, but yeah, basically he was, he was saying, oh. Well, wipe and try and get Mojave back so you can and then run the time machine and you know but then but then I had my time machine on a spinning drive and it was and it's like long in it so don't don't use spinners anymore you've got got to use SSDs like and they're almost indestructible as well <laughs> so yeah, it's true man. but I still wonder I think with I feel with spinning drives that 
you could I could send that off to a company and they could recover my data. Whereas a SSD, I don't see uh, any company being able to pull the data yeah. off of chips. Oh right, yeah. So but, I'm I like, because it's literally because um I was yeah because it, uh, it was telling me like it's literally because it's a it's literally like a, a like, like I didn't even know it's it's literally like a it's like a vinyl like um it's like a record player. Yeah, and it. It itchy, there's a needle to yeah, it, and then yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it goes along. And then to, to recover things, you've got to like click it back like inside. It's like scary stuff. <laughs> I had to so, do uh, it the other yeah. day. The weirdest thing I did the DMB talk with Fury. Do you know Fury from Denver? Uh, no, he's no. it does a long standing night, he's been doing it for a long time there. But yeah. I accidentally hit delete on the file. I thought I was deleting something, but I deleted. A whole the whole raw talk, and I was like, "Oh no!" And then I yeah. I got this thing when I hit delete, I also clear the recycle bin, just sort of like, oh, yeah. you know, just uh, just do it, yeah, and right. yeah. and I was that like, "Ah!" Oh. So I got this software, and I could go back and actually like it was like data forensic software, and I could, I went in and I recovered the file. I was like, "Rah!" You could actually right. do that. Uh-huh. And like I could see everything that I'd ever deleted as well, which also made oh, me wow. think, um, made me feel a little bit insecure. I've never thrown away a hard drive. One thing, you know, people could yeah, get your I, banking yeah. and all that stuff. I, I would just always, yeah. whenever I finish a computer, it just goes in the garage. Or if I do put it on eBay, I just rip the hard drives out. I got a big box of hard yeah. drives. <laughs> it's just yeah, like yeah. nobody's yeah, getting man. this data. Yeah, but, uh, so, um, but, but yeah, basically, <laughs> Apple now they. They like make it almost impossible to go back to Mojave because they want right. everyone to go big sir. And even like even like when like the back back moves like like in recovery modes, it's like a proper like strategic way of, of doing things when you're doing that sort of stuff. So um so yeah, he, he um so we found we found a we found a, a download of it, but you can't even search in the um app store and like download Mojave or do you know what I mean if they've proper found it. The proper made it hard to to do with that. Yeah. So so we we got a copy and had to put it on like an external SD and then put it in the back and wow. I was I was literally out of action for a week and a half like trying to sort this <sighs> out. Like this is why I just uh, cannot. I just oh, will not change yeah. my systems. Yeah. I, I'm yeah, stuck I'm now. Like, I'm, now. <laughs> I'm trying to work out what what am I on? I'm on Mojave. So that's it yeah, now. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not yeah. going up from Mojave. Oh, did you uh, go up uh, one more to from from Mojave or? So, so I couldn't get Mojave. Like even if you, I basically we basically installed it, but then right, right at the end when, when right at the end when you get to the end of it, it says, "Oh no, we can't do it." <laughs> what? So, Catalina. Yeah, so, so it was like, oh, I just have to put Catalina on it, and then, then yeah. Okay. So I basically, I basically, I had all the files on the external, and yeah, and uh, so I basically just done it from scratch and. You know, I've bought, I've bought, I've, I've, I've bought quite. A, the main plugins I use, I've kind of bought now, anyway. So yeah, I could just, yeah. I, I could grab it, and um, I've literally got nothing else. I literally just use this for music, and yeah. um, like not even an email. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, that's I'm glad, good. I'm glad to do something, and I have to go in the browser. But I've got, I've got one of the new uh, MacBook Airs, and I just do all that day to day stuff and that thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I hate the way they do this. It's yeah. so that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm going back into using the hardware again as well because yeah. no one's going to change the OS on an AKS 5000 and it's not going to work no. anymore. You know, that, like, that thing's just dead. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just that's it's where it's at and that's it. And it receives yeah. MIDI and they just want to control everything, they just want to modulate. Um, um, yeah, just, they just want to have they, they just want to know what, what everything is going on. It's this big for uh, sir thing. That's why it's such a big update and a big thing because everything's in cloud based for something. Do you know what I mean? So they can literally see what you're doing. So, I'm scaring everyone now. <laughs> no, that's but all good. We're, that's it, uh, the audience on this this channel are very yeah. much uh, a part yeah. of the. Uh, yeah. I don't want to say it's the like, words, but you know, what I mean, like they're switched on. People know things, and yeah, yeah. it's it's not cool. You know, you I, I've never put my project files up on the cloud. I've always no, no. kept them on my own thing, and because yeah. I feel like yeah. you put your music up on the cloud, and it's, you don't, it. you we don't really own yeah. it anymore. Because where's that server? No. What jurisdiction is like your project file 
Are they going to turn yeah. around and be like, we own this now? And he's just like, yeah. oh. oh. Yeah. Like, Not that our drum and bass tunes are worth all that much money, but it's still. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, that's what it's sort of trying to like, it's, 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 it's kind of like that they're like giving off with it. Like, even if you get, you, you buy, you buy, like, you buy a computer, but it almost feels like you, you, you can't do any, like, you can't modify it or do, you can't, like, it's still theirs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You're just uh, renting it, I guess. Yeah, they, they just don't want anyone to better them, I think. That's what it is. So yeah. I say that, so I could suss it out and then make something better. That'll, that'll just, like, do you know what I mean, put them at risk. So, I mean, it's like a love hate thing, isn't it? Like, I, uh, I love, I love, with I love, Mac, I love yeah. Hate <laughs> no, I'm the same, yeah. you know. I do go on the internet on this and it is only Mojave and I do worry, you know, is it going to get viruses or what have you because it's, you know, it's just, but it is, it is what it is. And I guess at some point I will sort of like bite the bullet and buy another Mac, like one of them new ones and then just sort of start again from, yeah. you know, from that point of view. But yeah. I'll never change this computer now. It's just, it is what yeah. it is. And yeah, man. Definitely. I mean, what what more do you really need to make music yeah, than what exactly. you've got? I, I'm so like happy with the amount yeah. of plugins and stuff that I've got. I just don't know what yeah. else, you know, yeah. especially using the hardware. You don't have to, you know, there's yeah. no plugins and it still like, sounds sick. So it's like, yeah. Um, yeah. you said that you use I, Massive a lot. Yeah, yeah, still, still do. <clears throat> I really like Massive. I made a thousand patches for Massive. Oh, yeah. They're for sale right now on my website, tcdmb.com. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I spent a whole year doing a, like a thousand patches just so yeah. that I could be like, I know this synth inside and out. And I think it's one of the best sounding ones. There is another one that sounds pretty good called Vital, which I don't know. Yeah, if man, I've, I've been using. Yeah, I've been yeah? using it. I do, I do really like it. Yeah, I've got, you know, because it was like some promotional thing before it went out. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah, jumped on it a little it's bit. It's still, it's still actually yeah. still free, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it's free still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think, I think it's a, it's like it's up there with Serum. I, would, I don't know if if it, it might even be better. <laughs> like, I it think it's even, better. I'm, I'm I I'll say better, it. Yeah, yeah I, I don't. I like the filtering. The filtering inside it is, it, it's the way. Yeah, the way it is is really really cool. But and the actual sample, sound of it, yeah, you can use it as there's a sampler in there, but you can use it like the wavetables as a sampler as well. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah you've worked yeah. on, yeah, sick. I'm and the thing I love about it is what was missing from every other soft synth is that random generator. You know the random generator in uh, there where you can drag like randomness to different oscillators. I'm all okay, about yeah. that. So good. So oh, it's like the, um, the randomized thing on um, on um, camel fat, and then just like, like oh, it's not it's, <clears throat> it's not where you like hit random and it makes a random patch. It's got yeah, like yeah. random oscillators, so random okay, LFOs. Yeah. So you can do oh, that right. sort of like micro drifting of the oscillators to kind of make it sound oh. like old school synths. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. all about that. So you're on Ableton. Yeah. Exclusively Ableton, or do you use um, in, like Logic yeah, or anything well, like that? Well, that's that's it is my main thing, and the only, only thing I'm using at the moment. But um, I've I've messed about with Bitwig, and I, I really do like like that too. Yeah, I mean, but that was quite that was a couple of years ago, so it was quite, right. It's still not quite as stable, but I, I might I might have a little play about it again. Um, but Cubase as well, um, just because you get like the plus ten thing. <laughs> like, but I mean, I, I mean, it's it's just something that you think like, oh, no, how can I sort of make it? I've I've been thinking about rewiring Ableton with Cubase because right. you can do that because because Ableton, um, Cubase does hardware clipping a lot better, doesn't it? Um, so I do find that with Ableton sometimes it you can't push it as as much as or as easy as you can with Cubase, but somehow. Somehow it still is all right. Like how have I you, do it. Have you tried K Clip? What's that? There's a plugin called K Clip, which okay, is yeah. really good for clipping. Yeah, I've really turned out of that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's really. I mean, how are you clipping at the moment? Are you? I'm interested to know. Are you getting things mastered or are you self mastering? I do it all myself. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And are you on a limited vibe or a clipping vibe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've, I've always been using like. Um, 
I'm guessing. Yeah, I want to guess Pro L. No, I was before, but I've, I've moved on to something else now. Ah, uh, next vibes. <laughs> Secret sauce. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, it's right. You don't yeah, have I mean, to give me your mastery chain. It's fine. It's cool, <laughs> man. But I mean, yeah, it's um, that um, uh, that elevate is is really good. But um, but I've I've um, but yeah, I've obviously like we always wanted to sort of like better ourselves and trying to evolve things. So I'm sort of trying to go a bit deeper with like how I actually do. You know what I mean, see see what how, what the best way of because I'm using a lot more hardware now. And I'm just yeah trying to go inside it a bit more and see if I can get better results. But um, but yeah, there's sometimes I'm just like I, I do the tune, and then I'll I'll just like kick off like just to see like like is it actually louder? It's it's not louder. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's very much like uh, with drum and bass. It's like three percent, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. If you can get yeah. a little yeah, three percent yeah. over the next guy. Yeah, so this is the thing, yeah, because with Cubase, you've got the plus 10, whatever, mad yeah, thing. Yeah, so, them Cubase so, guys yeah. are spoiled. And and, and you, you can hear it when, when it's out, played out as well. You can hear that sort of difference. So, do you know what I mean? They just don't put an issue on the master. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I tried doing that with... Available and you can't you can't get the same level. So, but I was thinking. So, if I if I really, I mean, that's the thing. Though we can obviously, I want to see if how more I can take it. But I mean, it's it's if it's not broken, then what's what's the old phrase? No, yeah, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And it's true, you know. If, it, if it's not broken, then don't try and glue it up. You you never hear like a Cubase guy sort of. Complaining. That's all I ever hear is like comp- Cubase yeah, I mean, guys. Yeah, it's isn't long it? though, isn't it? I, I try to have a little long. long. <laughs> so have you got so, it? Have you got, actually got I, it? I have got it, but I ain't right. using it. Because <laughs> like, the only thing that stopped me from doing it is it's not a download. So if I like, I would have had like a moment, and I'd be like, "Fuck it," and I'd just like buy it and download it. But because I have to yeah. wait a couple of days for it to arrive. I never actually bite the bullet and go, oh, I'm going to get this Cubase thing and see what it's about. And actually, the last couple of days, I've been quite spending fr- quite fruit. Like, I spent a bit on, like, new gear, that new sampler and stuff. Maybe I should right, have yeah. a look at Cubase. Yeah. But then is it another it's six months of learning another bit of software? That's the other thing. I know, that's the thing. Like, I, I, I tried to sort of have a... I couldn't even get past the first I had to do. <laughs> I was like, because it but it's, it's that was the first I actually started on. You know, what I mean, I had Cubase at school, so yeah. actually, it's the first thing I actually started with. Actually, so you probably um, be all right. Yeah, do you, do you, but, when you like, I'm interested to know about like your workflow and like when you're beginning a tune. Are you sort of? Would it be like maybe a sound or a bass, or would it be like a drums thing? Like you go, yeah, but, do you yeah. do you get an idea in your head? Like oh, I want this, and then you make that. Like, what's your sort of like way you would approach, and how long does it take for you to make tune? Yeah, so it's just, it's 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 a lot. It's it's pretty varied, varied, especially at, especially like since like the lockdown, isn't it? You've got a lot of, bit more time, and like yeah, since the lockdown, it's sort of it's sort of varied a bit, really. Yeah, I just get the. You know, drum and like the break going and come up with something with, with like the bass trying to mess about the bass sounds and the weirdest thing I can come out with go with that <laughs> but um so you're like uh you're yeah. making the make, when you're making decisions as you're making it you're kind of yeah, trying so to be I'll different go I'll, go, I'll go with that yeah like that's right. just all through the process of coming out with the the bass sound but but then I'm I'm lately I've really been well, in the past, like maybe a couple of years, like, I've been really in the, um, you know, with, with like, old school pads and you know the Victoria collection and uh, Roland um, Cloud. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I've been proper going in on that and yeah, you know, sort of synth cool progressions and you know like the changes and stuff. And I've been really, yeah, I've been really sort of looking into that. So, um, so, I, so sometimes when I ain't getting a vibe with. Yeah, if I've started something and I'm, I'm going, I'm in a loop, then I sort of go into the intro and then you get like a little vibe with, we come up with something like, like sort of like hook or pad sort of, and then that gets inspiration from there. So it's sort, you, of, it's sort of, yeah. Sort do you think you're like kind of long or do you think you're quick? 
Um, I think I'm. I think I'm definitely. I'm not as quick as um, some other people. I, I know, but obviously, because because um, well, I mean, I'm trying to sort of do a bit like if I'm not like inspired or something, then I'll just sort of you know, make breaks or like come up with stuff that I can just literally go in when I'm when I'm sort of inspired and then drag on on to. Seems like a, should... quite a similar experience to most of us. Like if you haven't got the idea rolling. Yeah. Then it's just like, oh, I'm just gonna make some yeah. drums and stuff, and like because but, yeah. I've always really just come in here and then just gone with what I what I come out with. Do you know what I mean? I've, I've especially when I sort of got the knack of like doing things with yeah, yeah. Because obviously, but yeah, the first few couple couple of years, you can sort of you know change a bit and stuff. But, but yeah, you do know, you feel like, pressure like, from you, like got that. yeah? What's that? Do you feel like pressure now? Because you've had hits, like you got a better them, but and you can't really. Do you feel like you you're uh, not you're well, not going to go making um, a house tune now? Do you know what I'm saying? Like there's sort of like yeah, not you, really because you mean, don't feel that it's, it's all, if you start doing that, then you're going. You're not really just doing you in it. You're sort of yeah. going for different reasons. So I'm just sort of. Do you know what I mean you're you're the artist. You people like what you do, do you know what I mean? Not yeah. because of a certain stand that you come out with. Do you think that, like, Shimon has helped you to sort of, like, uh, with, like, bits of little nuggets of advice and stuff throughout your career? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah always. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, he's yeah. a legendary producer. Some of them tunes. Yeah, Some of yeah. them tunes, bruv. Yeah. Levels. <laughs> So good. Shimon made some bangers, man. Like real, real, real establishment foundation business and uh, yeah. massive respect. And I, I, yeah. I just really like, you know, the fact that you guys are kind of a unit as well, you know, like yeah. it's good. Yeah. It's vibes, good vibes. It's got like, a good team yeah. as well. Yeah, man. It's all, yeah, no, it's just, it's like, do you know what I mean? Building up, having that little, you know, the team, like, do you know, and, you know, you bring you, you sort of bring each other up, up. Do you know what I mean? Not you know, because because like obviously when you start sort of getting a bit more. Do you find like when you're starting making tunes, just go to back back to that? Do you ever think about the key before you get started, or is it just like whatever it's in? Yeah, if it's like an F uh, or a D or E or. Oh uh, right. Well, I mean, not really. I mean, I've I've thought, I've I've um I'm actually kind of a bit. <laughs> I wouldn't say classically trained, but I've played like instruments like like as I've like you know, grown up and do you know what I mean before yeah. before making uh before making music I was you know playing trumpet believe it or not and um, yeah um, yeah trumpet, is that the where the foghorns come from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you That's find that? Yeah. <laughs> do you yeah. find that like uh, you got on there? Oh, give us give us a blast, <laughs> mate! Come on, come on! I need to hear some trumpet. Come on. Oh, mate, I've only just got out of the box after Go on. about five minutes. Just, like, give us a note. <laughs> <laughs> I've only fallen apart. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, no, this is... Fucking hell. Bad down history, son. Yeah, mate. <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to sample that. It'll be like... Purr. Yeah. yeah. But, no, that's but, good. Yeah, I've, I've, you know, I played. I, I got my grade three piano when I was um, younger too. Right. I got grade five, five trumpet in college. Um, Sick. I played drums. Yeah. Played, do you ever? Uh, have you got a kit there? Do you ever do your own drums? Um, no, but I, I want to get. I want to get got some. To. Bruv. Yeah, I want to get. I want to get some, man. Ah, uh, mate, I record my own drums. Um, it's yeah. one. Of, it's like a signature part of my sound. And like, mm. if you ever need any tips and tricks, um, yeah, I've got yeah, a few little yeah, vibes on that, bruv. It's so sick. Yeah. The snares, the crispiness of the snares yeah. that you can get yeah, yeah, yeah. Been, from your own I've drums. Talking, I've been talking to uh, Didinja as well. Like, okay. You know, quite a bit lately. And uh, with, uh, I was, yeah, so he's telling me about, like, you know, the way that like, he like, can record, like, you know, because yeah. he makes all of it from, you know, um, you know, his his own snares and kicks and yeah. cymbals, you know what I mean? So, so when so I, I first sort of signed it, to Valve, yeah. I went down to Carl's studio 
and like yeah. he had his drum kit set up and I got massively inspired and like on the coach yeah. home I was like trying to teach myself how to do drums yeah, and yeah, I just yeah. spent like 150 pound on a drum kit and just oh, bought wow. bought a drum kit and a microphone and just started yeah. recording all my own drums just because yeah, I was yeah. like yeah okay this is like this is how you get your own signature kind of sound yeah, is yeah, uh, yeah that would be sick oh, well. That would be sick. Yeah. You got? Have you got enough space in the studio for a kit, though? Maybe. Oh, yeah, but I need to do like individual hits. You know what I mean? And yeah. Then, and then pat patting it all to, together. But yeah, I do need to sort of yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll just lose a sofa or something. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, I want to get into that, and I think like jazz kits as well. I think that's quite a good like like the sort of yeah man good point. Just need to look, look, look more into it, ask around with different, different brands because I haven't really looked into that. I haven't really played drums for years. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, because once you start, once you start um, doing production stuff, you sort. Do you know what I mean? Because it's very a lot of time. I spend the whole day. Do you know what I mean? Making tunes, right? Like, and then just you sort of before you know it, you slip out of doing reality. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, I, I yeah. can lose so much time. Just literally, the like yesterday, I started making another tune all on the hardware, and yeah. I just literally blinked, and it was three in the afternoon, and I started at like yeah, yeah, ten yeah. in the morning. Yeah, yeah. And that's how I'm always late because I'd be like, I'd be in here, and then uh, I was like, I've got to go somewhere, and then I've probably missed my train, and then I've. Ben's always like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's a it's classic fast. drum and bass. I mean, it took take you know, like so many of these DB talks, I've organised people and been like this day, yeah, and they're like, yeah, 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 and then it's like doesn't happen, and it's cool because I'm yeah. so drum and bass too. I never yeah. get like grumpy or whatever. It's just is what it is, and like. Yeah. It's cool. Like I know that people get around to doing things at some point in the end, but there's probably been like at least sort of ten different people that had just haven't turned up or whatever. And I, I know what it is. You, they were up in the studio till like you know eight in the morning, and they're just asleep or whatever. And you know that's that's just creative people in general, isn't it? I mean, if you're yeah. if you're on a vibe, you know, I've been learning. I never used to be able to do this, but I can now put an idea down and yeah. then come back to it the next day at like oh, yeah, six yeah. in the morning or whatever and just yeah. I can I can let it go now but I never used to be able to do that yeah. I used to just yeah. stay up all night all the time um, yeah man yeah but, uh, <laughs> yeah that's me mate <laughs> I, it's, I just it's... like I've just I've just always struggled with sleep for noise like like right when I wake up it takes me like two hours to get actually waking up do you know what I mean I, I never never was one to just be able to get get up and then do stuff always always a few hours to get in the get in the gardens or when, when um, you go on road do you can you sleep in hotels do you find um, like yeah yeah, yeah if I, by the time the hotel happens i've had a bloody old full skin for you know <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no i'm, I'm um yeah yeah i see my work but um but usually, you get a, yeah, I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm right. But then, it, but then, like, I get back, and and then by, like, I'll be out of action till about Wednesday. Do you know what I mean? So it's yeah. Like, but also, I was thinking this the other day as well, because, um, because I, I was saying, I was saying to Shim, I was like, how the bloody hell did we do it? Like, like we're just like be like dying off everywhere. And I, I, I'll go to Sainsbury's now and come back. I'm just like, oh, I have a little sit down. <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? And then, and then, um, it's because it's um, called being a soldier, but, bruv, is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you've got that like drive with like Jeremy, you know I mean? something happening, Jeremy, you know I mean? because it's not much, <laughs> it's not much to to go for now. So no. it's sort of, Jeremy, you know I mean? once you've got that sort of excitement doing something, it's like yeah. But but also tunes wise, like do you know what I mean, you'd, you'd have like maybe like after the weekend, you'll probably have like maybe two or three days like studio days. Do you know what I mean? And then you've got to go out again. And then yeah. it's um. But now we've got all the time in. Uh, uh, do you know what I mean? But I was like finishing tunes once you got. Do you know what I mean? It's like what we were talking about earlier. Once you got that limited, limited setup, like you, you sort of, you sort of go with it, and then do you know what I mean. So it was like you know coming up with tunes back then. Like I was probably a lot quicker then than I'm now because obviously you think oh, I've got time. <laughs> I don't feel do like know? there is as much time now as there was. And uh, you no, know, but, if it does all come but, back, you're gonna be like, "Yeah, yeah. I need to make some tunes now." 
Do you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, I'm sure yeah. you've got quite a few dubs that you're sitting on right now. Yeah, man. The moment, there's a lot of projects I haven't. I mean, I, that's that's another thing I'm sort of doing now. Like before, I like, just, just like, finish it and then maybe right. like out and think, oh, a little tweak here and there, and then be done. And then, um, but then uh, at the moment, I saw my attention span's quite sort of changed a bit now. Do you know what I mean? I I'd like to start doing a tune and then I was like, oh, I'm excited to do now. Right. So, and then so I've got I've got quite a few that um the ideas are there but just needs finishing. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that today and tomorrow to to uh, try and get, get sorted. Yeah, finish yeah. some bits off. I always find it yeah. helps what I've been doing on some tunes recently is I'll bounce a version and then I'll just listen to it in the headphones when I take the dog for a walk. And usually yeah. I'll get the ideas that I need from just sort of not being sat down doing it and then when mm. I come back in on the studio I'm like I need to do this 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 and this and then it'll be done yeah. but it's still it's hard, yeah. hard to know when a tune is finished do you find it's hard yeah. to know like when something's done I feel um, like I've got my own I, little I rituals that, I think it's just at the moment I think because once you once, once you play it out and started, people love it and then you obviously you're like, oh, it's that then. yeah and then, yeah. but at, at the moment because obviously you're you know you know you're not going many places you can you know you can like be a bit overcritical maybe at the moment maybe. there's a bit of like light at the end of the tunnel as well i mean yeah. um, you yeah. know there's a few things coming through now possibly yeah, man. so uh you can only hope you know that uh that the touring's gonna come back a little bit some of that some of the old yeah. getting on airplanes yeah. and stuff yeah. Uh, I'm not really, you know, I'm not going to jump uh, at the first wave, to be fair, mate. I'm just, I'm happy. I'm good. I'm going to just try and bang out tunes for a bit and yeah, see, man. see how I can like, you know, make different sound of music for, is what I want to do yeah. right now. Yeah, um, yeah. There's a few questions from the discord. There was one that I said earlier, but there's, oh, there's yeah. a couple here that people are put in. Cause when I say I'm talking to somebody, I just be like, anyone got anything uh, they want to ask? So what is this? as well is it like so discord is like a, is like a, a like it's like thing. chat i guess a bit yeah. it's a bit like irc um okay. or, or like yeah so i got a discord channel and anyone can join it and then i just sort of like chat to my fans yeah. like directly because yeah. you know i don't i'm more of a like producer talk kind of guy so it's mainly production talk or food a lot of food talk yeah. goes on in there because okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah there's um i use a uh, telegram yeah okay um, you've got a group on there it, yeah no, no, but I've you, you can do the same sort of thing with a channel in there. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think, think it's, it's quite good. good. I got my like fan base is like the Wolf Pack, so yeah, like yeah, yeah. they all it's basically my Wolf Packs on there, and we all just yeah. sort of like chat. And I go on there, say good morning every day, and people got a lot of questions about production, and I try and help people out. Yeah. And there's loads of channels in my channel, so there's the post oh, your own yeah. tunes thing. There's people, there's one where people can like um, sort out getting together to do collabs. There's like yeah. posting free plugins. There's posting YouTube links to like education, yeah. that kind of oh, stuff. So it's mainly just like a like a learning resource for people and. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's really what I'm trying to do. I think it's really good for, for like new producers coming through to realise that we're just kind of like, you know, fairly normal people who just have a lot yeah, of drive yeah. to yeah. sort of make drum and bass. And the more people I can help to make drum and bass, the more good tunes that we're going to have to play in our sets that are fresh, you yeah. know, because yeah. there's plenty of, you know, there is a lot of producers out there now. Um, I get a lot of tunes, but like I really want to hear people coming through with like, next level kind of yeah, no. sound and you know i think your sound is the sound that has sort of defined an era and it is wicked i'm i'm fully gassed on the tunes that you're making i'm excited to hear what comes next definitely yeah. uh these these questions so uh Gruel says uh again oh, ask yeah. benny oh, what it's like to be touring <laughs> with a legend like serum <laughs> for, oh, for fuck's sake Shimon, yeah, yeah Shimon. No, it's wicked like it's, you know it's great like you know, like I'm, I'm all, I like, I love hearing the stories of like back then. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. I, I, I wish I was a, around like. Do you know what I mean? Like eighty nine and on the side. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I wish I was around them days. But um, but uh, yeah. So I always just love uh, hearing hearing like stories and how things were were back then and why back then. You know Pretty I mean? mad. Yeah. But yeah. It's, 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 but then again, it's like 
obviously that was maybe at the, like the start. I obviously like still like love hearing that now, but it's like it's almost like another like sort of like, another dad to me. So it's like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. That sort of level now, do you know what I mean? So, but it's just, it's just wicked, yeah. It is good yeah. to have that experienced person to like be able to. Uh, you know, tell you the pitfalls and, and like, you know, yeah. it's good. It's a vibe. So Seabass, MC Seabass from LA, I think you might yeah. have hung out with him. I know. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. he is asking, uh, what some of his favorite soft synths and uh-huh. must have VSTs? So All massive, right. obviously. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So massive. I use Zeta as well. Um, Zeta. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Zeta, yeah. yeah. Zeta. But basically, they don't make it anymore. I, I bought it like, it was actually the first synth I bought, right? Because back in like 2012, right? Um, so yeah, I, yeah, I got that, but uh, they went bust in like 2014 or something. Them ones. Yeah. So yeah. you can't like, even even if you got an account and that. So to actually go onto your account and re-download it, it it's almost impossible. So, I've, so I've, um, but even like the crack, it's, it's like activate. You can you can download it, but like the activation code, you know what I mean? It's just, it's hard. Like, you can't even use your own one, so right. you've had to go like, the sort of other route. Yeah, it's okay. But, I got this one called IXL, like a spectrum yeah. analyzer that the guy yeah. doesn't make it no more, so I just got the okay, cracked yeah. version. I feel, I think it's okay if it, if a company goes bust. Yeah, that's think... all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but you <laughs> you've, you've had my 70 quid, John. Exactly. <laughs> you didn't use but, it wisely because you went bust. <laughs> and I, I, was, I was using it all the time, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Z-R, uh, ZR Vital as well. Yeah. Um, I'm using a quite a bit of Monarch as well, like Native Instruments. Yeah. Um, yeah. See, it's and interesting because think... these are not my picks, but it's really cool because now I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at these simps yeah, and be yeah, like, yeah. Monarch, mate. Sick, yeah. Monarch, yeah. 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 Something that's got really sick high resonance. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, and, and then sort of, sort of, um, effects for it, like plugins. Um, you know what? Yeah. I was, Maybe even, maybe even, um, oh yeah, and then obviously like the Tara collection and Roland, do you know what I mean? I love all the classic synths, you know. I'm trying to look into like getting them, but they're bloody expensive, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, like that. that and we're um, actually CS8. buying the hardware versions of them. Yeah, yeah, like you know that yeah. CS8. Yeah, yeah CS8, you uh, mate. Using Blader on it, it's about eight grand. Do you know what I mean? So um, you can make those sounds. I mean, I've got like contact instruments that I've made because I've got a yeah. Moog Rogue, like, and I've sampled yeah, yeah. every single note. And uh, if you if you, if you ask me nicely, I might send you the contact instrument. It's so sick. Oh, yeah. Like I sampled yeah. every single note on the Moog, like yeah. from like each one multi sampled. So it's basically right. polyphonic. And and it sounds as big as like that CSA. And I did the aftertouch oh, right. thing with yeah. like modulation. Oh, bro, oh, it's so. Yeah. Or we we could maybe collab on a tune and use that plugin yeah, if man. you want. Yeah, yeah. No, you know what? I'm I'm trying to obviously. I, I want to look into actually trying to make in go inside the sort of plugins a bit and make your own a bit. So, yeah, so I mean like like the Ma- Max for Live. Do you know what I mean that like? But it's, you know I mean it's long, very, it's really in depth, but. Something that can link in hardware within the same yeah. sort of jar. I think that would be really cool. So it's like the plug, and then there's part of it that's, that's linked with the culture vulture. Yeah, like, sick. Yeah. I don't or think like, that would be so difficult to do. I think it would be possible. Yeah, uh, just to have like a it. soft synth with a box so that the, mm. the, the signal goes out and then comes back in again. Yeah, exactly, exactly that, maybe. That's a really um, good idea. Yeah. But I, I'm pretty much doing that with with the, the Ableton chain at the moment, anyway. Yeah, but, yeah. But yeah, I've been I've been going into like these sort of groups, and you can run your own chains on different frequencies. You you can do that in um, Bitwig as well. There's mm. like the sort of free splitter, and you can do like a chain inside that frequency range. But obviously, you can do that if you just like get Pro uh, Q and <laughs> do that, and then then yeah, it's but obviously. It's something that's really quick and it speeds things up. Yeah, but, um, yeah, man. Uh, and, but and also, v- yeah, I mean, heck, yeah. Go on. Uh, VSTs wise, what kind of like? Um, yeah, I mean, um, uh, for filtering, probably like filtering wise. Uh, that oh, what is it? The sort of filter freak. Is that, yeah, the filter freak. Um, in 
sound toys, I think. Yeah, that's that's the really good feel. Uh, but also camel fat. But but I can't get that now. <laughs> so, uh, it's annoying, uh, isn't it? But, so that's that, isn't it? That, that's that. I, I was one. chatting to I was chatting to Spy, and I yeah. don't know if you've noticed on Spy's videos, he's got this like piece of on his Instagram. He's got this bit of equipment that's like got um, knobs that light up. And okay, yeah. I was asking him what it was, and he said, "Oh, it's basically a hardware camel fat." Oh wow, yeah. So I was like, oh, wow. "Yo!" And a lot of people yeah. left comments on the YouTube, but like, "Yo, what is that?" And I can't remember what it was. So maybe hit up Spy uh, and be like, "Yo, what's that?" Um, yeah, That's you know what thing. I really want though. I want, I want someone to do like a valve filter. Has someone done that? I don't know. <clears throat> valve filter it sounds like sick. a <laughs> sounds like something we need. It sounds like something we need. <laughs> yeah, that would be proper. Like, I There's think, this yeah. Akai thing I keep seeing advertised to me, but it's like seven hundred quid. But it's like an yeah. outboard filter. But then well, like, maybe what that. you really want is the filters inside the emu and the Akai, to be fair. Man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you, you, don't, you don't quite get it unless you actually go back and use the original, innit? Like, I think, yeah. But yeah, something... So something sick. When I put thought. a filter on that tune, it's just like... Uh, they're all different. There's yeah. like loads of filters on there. And you, they just yeah. sing to your ears, man. It's, oh, it's just such a vibe. Just levels, think, but yeah, like the, the, the filters in Zeta are really good as well. That's right. the, main, like the main thing that we use that, yeah. And also, vital, there's some really cool things you can do with that on the filter, in, like, yeah. Oh, like the because it's a multi mode sort of filter, yeah. It's yeah. like in one, isn't it? It's like, yeah, yeah, I like that. It, that. That, um, that wave table, Avon, I've been, I've been using that, oh, and that has, yeah. yeah. I've been using that. Yeah, it's just that's really good. That's got some really good filters. And um, yeah, I, I, yeah, that's, I was using that in the the tune that crashed the other day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did you get it back in the oh, end? You know what? I, I tried opening the, the backup uh, file earlier, and it opened up. But then, so I've like resaved it, and then clicked all. And I thought, right, that should be alright. And it done the same thing, and I can't get it back. So, but do you think it's a Ableton, bug in Ableton to do with that yeah, synth, maybe, or something? Yeah. But I think but I think it's something to do with like the um, I don't know. Every time I loaded it up, it all come because you can see what plugins load and um, the ivory kit in contact. That seems like it would. That was the last thing it would say. Right. Okay. Which is annoying because that's my favourite bloody kit. <laughs> right. Yeah. T- time to get your own drum kit out and make your own contact. I know instruments. exactly. Yeah, that's it, man. So. I, yeah, I can also I'm, recommend a big bag of percussion instruments too. <coughs> yeah, <laughs> if you're going to yeah, do like yeah. self-recording drums, I got like yeah. a, a big bag of, yeah. of like percussion stuff that I, yeah, man. I really like. Because you can really just come up with things like really a lot more quicker as well. Like I mean, instead of scrolling through and getting all just... You, know you I mean? just dig around in the box and you pull out the cowbell and then you just yeah. set up a microphone and whack it a few times. Yeah, man, I, that, that, that TC cowbell, <laughs> man, I missed that. That, that. I was going to say it. I was going to say it when, when you I said got, it the other day. The I got, TC like cowbell, a... man, I missed that. <laughs> I got you like know, a... you know what, though? One, one, um, uh, one thing. I think it's in um, uh, Rockstar. You know the sort of inch you use it a lot. It's like sort of bleepy sort of I don't know, the sort of, uh, I'm not going to like try and sing it because it, it's sort of like, the, it's like a percussion, but it's like quite bleepy. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, sort of. Yeah. You know you, what though? Um, I just, the, the, I could tell you what, what, what that is. If I was, if I was going to like explain it I'd, or trying to, trying to describe it, it'd be like the sort of original uh, casualty um, bleep. Bling, bling, like this little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I even used that in a tune. <laughs> ah, because, wicked. Because trying to do like, do you know what I mean? What what you what, what sort of vibe you was given from your thing? I can't remember. With those I, 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 little I, things, I used to just obsessively collect yeah. um, circuits. Is it character? It's like your character. It's, it's your sort yeah. of signature thing. Do you know what so I mean? I, what I would do is I would find circuit bent uh, speaking spells. Yeah. You know, like that, that old computer thing that would say words and stuff but people right. like mess them up so they're all glitched out and then i would yeah. just take little bits of those and i had like probably four or five cuts of samples of that that i would use all the time but now i built myself a contact instrument with like 128 different cuts of it so i just yeah, use yeah. that now and 
I've been getting really into sort of like building my sound in contact instruments a lot recently. Yeah. So yeah. there's another question here. Uh, Jumanji DMB says, ask him if he likes drum and bass and see if he says, nah, rollers. Oh, 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 oh. How good does it feel to be on top of Beatport? <laughs> um, yeah, no, I do. I, like, it, it is annoying because I don't want to be pigeonholed as like something. Do you know what I mean? I would never have put you in that box personally. Exactly, but people do. So <laughs> I just, yeah, I just, I'd, I'd rather just, you know, the, the tunes, the sort of tunes I've put out like over the, over the years very, are quite varied, I think. And there's probably only had, like maybe like not even a handful of foghorn tunes on there. So. <laughs> I feel like you got a sort of metalheads vibe to the things that you yeah. do and yeah. old Dillinger vibe. And there's a bit of like, I feel like you got, I kind of feel like you're an older head in a younger person, sort of like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like you've got yeah. that sort of, you seem to keep it very real and I love that. I didn't record any of that. So uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your time. <laughs> a bit of a, my computer shit the bed again, but it's all good. So yeah, uh, sorry, um, yeah. thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Nice yeah, thank one, bro. Thank you for having me, man. Yeah, thank safe. You, yeah, pick up. <laughs> so if you found anything in this video interesting, please smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you can keep up to date with all this new from me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you have any ideas for future videos, I read all your comments. Don't forget to join the Discord server and check the links for my samples and presets in the description. A massive big up to Benny L and all the Wolf Pack. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace! Peace. Awesome, man. You, you got that proper down to a T, right? It's exactly it's the same. A script. Every time. It's a script. It's a script.